Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Lisa Carter and I'm going to be teaching you how to play I Saw Three Ships. Um, this is the intermediate version of the Christmas Music Workshop, so I hope you have um, lots of fun learning this. Alright, so for our intermediate, first we're going to get our hands um, situated on the keys. So it says 8VA above the right hand, right? Right, where, right beneath where it says joyfully, you've got a little 8VA sign and the dotted line. So as far as that dotted line goes, that's how far you're going to have the 8VA. And what the 8VA means is one octave higher. So it looks like it's written for these notes, right? But um, one octave above that would be up here, right? So I'm going to move the camera. So that's going to be the first two notes. It's actually up here instead of down here. Um, this is middle C, just for reference. So you're going to go one, two octaves above middle C. <clears throat> so that's going to be where your right hand goes. Um, and then your left hand is going to be right on middle C. And see how the left hand um, uh, clef is a treble clef, right? So your left hand is going to be playing just one um, fingers five and, and one on C and G and it'll just have those long drones. So it'll be one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Right, because we're in, we're in um, three, four time. Okay, so let's look at the right hand um, fingering. We're gonna have some, some interesting finger switches here. So, so your right hand's gonna go one, two, but then right after that, we've got one, two again. One, two, right? Because it's got um, G, C, C, D. So that's gonna be your finger switch. Um, think about putting your thumb on as soon as your second finger finishes playing the note. And you can also make C shorter. That's how you're gonna do it. And then right here we've got four, three, two, one. So E, D, B, G. Switch again. So every time we have that, we're pretty much always going to be doing that finger switch there. So, right? And then that's the end of the 8VA, so that means that we can bring our hand back down to where the notes are written. <clears throat> so let's hear how the beginning sounds all together. Um, I'm going to be going kind of on a, f a little bit of a faster speed, just so that we can get the feeling of what the song um, is supposed to go like. So it's going to be... Um, so we start on a pickup, so we start on three. So I'm going to count one, two, and then I'm going to start. So one, two. Right? That's um, the whole first section there. And then after we hit the second... C, then we're going to jump right down to this bottom G down here, okay? So I'm going to move the camera down so that we can see um, the whole rest of that part. So the left hand just stays where it is, right? Because the left hand wasn't an octave higher. The left hand is just going to keep on playing what's written. So right hand is going to be pretty much the same thing, just an octave lower. So it'll look like this. Finger switch. So tr practice that. And then another finger switch. Four, three, two, one. Okay. While the while the left hand is going to be doing this, we've got five, one. Okay. So um, it just becomes this kind of dance-like pattern in the left hand to make it sound to make it sound like it's dancing. So all together, it'll sound like. Um, I'm going to scroll down to the next page. So the left hand, see how on measure 24, right before the second page starts, um, it switches to a bass clef, okay? So right after we do our 4 on, on C, 1, 3, then we're going to switch to 3 and go all the way down to F because we've got that bass clef there in the left hand now. So that means that that first note there is going to be F and then middle C, F. Okay, so it's a clef change. So altogether, the left hand's going to go four, three, and then five, four, one, three, five. So that makes it easier to switch. And then we'll just do five, one, five, 
and then four, one, four, one, two, three, and then, or sorry, three, sorry, <laughs> I was counting the beats, so four, three, two, and then we're gonna jump up, okay? So that's gonna, um, it's okay if it doesn't sound smooth, you're just gonna have to practice doing one, two, three, one, two, three, jump. And you can use the pedal if you want, I use the pedal to hold it, see how it's, it's sustaining so that it holds over before you hit that. Um, and it's totally fine if, if that's too much to think about. Just um, just think about doing one, two, three, and then jump up. <clears throat> and then we've got the same thing coming up. And then from here, you're, we're going to jump all the way down. Remember, because it changes to bass clef again there in measure 32. So it's five, four, three, four, three, two, one. And that's the end. So um, let's go ahead and start at the beginning from where it, it uh, stopped being 8 VA, okay? So we're, we just finished doing this, and then we're jumping down, okay? So it's going to go like this. And then jump up with your left hand. So. See how I switched my right hand? And then I'm going to scroll down. And then... Okay. So again, that's... Okay. So those accent signs mean that you're going to play this note um, more intensely than the rest of the notes, okay? So you can think of it as being a little louder and a, just a little bit more um, intentional, okay? And starting at measure 30, we're going to start building up the dynamic. So it'll sound like we're building... So the C should be the loudest part of the whole, of the whole piece. Yeah, so um, hope you have fun learning that. See you next time. Thank you.